Great big thank you for making WRCOFM 100.9 a part of your Sunday night. This is 80s Alive as we celebrate our first anniversary on the air. Adam has with you. Chris Ryan, he's in the uh, air chair left, just left of the control room here. And you know what? Things went pretty well tonight, which means we uh, probably had the opportunity to at least attempt another year here. I hope it. I hope it all goes well for you. you know, Thank I, you for having me. Oh today. man, it was a pleasure. I, I really appreciate bringing your musical knowledge down and your one-hit wonders. Your nice little basket out there. That was pretty <laughs> sweet. Uh, tasty tidbits, I like to call them. Yeah. So uh, we hope you had fun, and you'll come back sometime. I hope so too. Can we twist yeah. your arm and maybe get you uh, to make that long trip here sometime again? Oh, it was it was definitely um, definitely a nice drive and a great five hours. It went by like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, it, it it really motivates, doesn't it? So. Uh, that's you know that's usually what happens when you start reminiscing. If you think about it, you see somebody you haven't seen in a long time on the street, or uh, you catch them in a store or a restaurant, and you start talking, and all of a sudden you look down and you're late for something. You know, you start reminiscing. That uh, that always tends to happen. Mm-hmm. So it was a lot of fun, though. A lot of fun reminiscing about the 1980s with you, Chris. It's 11:53, 48 degrees. We are making our way to the top of the hour. Be sure and join us if you didn't get a chance tonight to pick up on those terrific Poison and Skid Row and Vince Neil tickets. We're going to have them all the way up until showtime. July 24th, and uh, it's going to be a fantastic show at Rockin' the Ridge up by La Crosse, and we'll be just shuttling those off to you as often as we can, so we'll make it fun, and listen again next Sunday from 7 to midnight for your chance to win. All right, with that having been said, Mr. Ryan, we have your final pick of the night. Uh, another one-hit wonder. We'll keep that kind of yeah, theme we, going. Yeah, well, we like that. That was, that was uh, actually sort of the unwritten concept of tonight's show. Yeah. We didn't really talk about it much, but that's how it ended up being, and that's fine. We, we enjoy one-hit wonders. And 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 uh, what what kind of a co-host would I be without getting a one-hit wonder in with a female name in the title? That's right. We love the women. Yeah. You have to love the women. I mean, I, I never knew one, anyone in high school named Jane. But the song's about Jane. Jane's getting serious. It's Uh-oh. Like one of those boy-girl friendship <laughs> things, and Jane crosses the line. Oh, uh, you know, in high school, if you told me Jane's getting serious and I knew Jane, I'd be like, run! Run! Run, Chris, run! Run, tell all your friends, too. <laughs> Avoid Jane. Yep. She has girl cooties. <laughs> well, uh, John Astley sings it, One Hit Wonder. Um, I don't think he did much after that. It was from about 87, 88, that time period. Jane's getting serious. It's a Chris Ryan hand-picked One Hit Wonder on 80s Alive. 